Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, we're out on the all new 2022 Honda NT 1100. Let's take it nice and easy. First impressions just jumped on and uh, I'll tell you now, very, very, very comfortable machine this. Um, see if I can find these indicators yet. There's a lot going on with this button cluster here, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, just been shown by the lovely dealer. Um, you know, all of, all of these functions, or a lot of these functions on the bike. And uh, there, there's a lot, there's a lot I can talk about. I could talk about that all day, really. Uh, basically, this machine is, it's the same engine as the Africa Twin. So if you're familiar with that, you'll know, uh, you know, it's the same frame as well, same frame, different subframe, I believe. I'll take a left here, actually. We'll wander on. We're going to experience, uh, you know, quite a few different roads today. So we'll uh, test out that screen as well. She sounds lovely with that uh, parallel twin. 270 degree crank. So you get that V-twin like sound from the engine there. I'm not getting any wind at all, nothing, absolutely none, nothing. That screen has got five positions uh, and it's actually in the, in the up, top upper, the upper position there, the highest position. And I'm still looking over the top of the screen. Uh, seat, very, very comfortable. No issues, you know, immediately from the seat, but I have only just jumped on the bike. I think they do a comfort seat for this bike as well. And what I do like, uh, you know, with this with this model of machine, is the fact that it comes with a lot a lot of uh, a lot of goodies. This, and we'll talk about them. We'll, uh, we'll talk about them as we ride. Yeah, actually, standard. This comes with the the panniers. Two, you know the, the the luggage panniers color coded to the bike as well heated grips center stand which a lot of people ask tend to ask about in the comments um I'll take a left here and we'll experience a little bit higher higher speed and see how that screen performs from the wind lots of wind deflection on this bike as well other than the screen very smooth there self cancelling indicators as well all standard heated grips and I've got the heated grips on and they're starting to come through nicely actually five different levels for the heated grips as well I think I'm on level four all accessible through this uh, the function button on the right hand button cluster there so what we're doing we're sitting at a 70 mile an hour indicated there and I must I'm gonna to have to say that, that I'm not getting any wind at all nothing other than you know from the side on there I'll get no no wind it's, it's kind of hitting, hitting here so it's all above the helmet there very nice like I say the button cluster as well this button cluster seems like it's got a lot going on and it is I think it's pretty much identical to the Africa twin although I've not rode an Africa twin I'll have to put that one on the list but visibility through those mirrors is very good as well no vibes little bit of vibes as I lay off the, 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 the throttle there. No vibes through the pegs. Look like there's oil in the road there. Cool. I'm going to steer clear of that. Oh. That's alright. <laughs> Pull out in front of me. No problem. <laughs> we'll go this way. It's a very torquey engine this. I think it's 104... 104 newton meters of torque, um, at just over 6,000 RPM, and the bike actually will give you 100 newton, 100 uh, brake horsepower. I think it's at 7,500 RPM. I might be wrong. I'll put the figures on the screen, and we will go through the specs in the usual way when we pull over. And I give you a thorough walk around of this machine, which I'm actually looking forward uh, to doing myself. And we'll run through all of the, you know, the the specs and. Which I, I, I think, to be honest, like I said uh, a minute ago, the fact that this this bike comes fully laden with, I've got, I've got the top box on this one, uh, that's an optional extra. So uh, yeah, but 
you know, obviously, the, like I said before, the luggage panniers come with it. Very nice, absolutely lo lovely and comfortable position. Uh, nice and relaxed. My feet were in a, a lovely position on the foot pegs. It's actually got wind deflectors here as well, so it's deflecting all the wind. And if you're out in the rain, deflect all that away from you. Keep you nice and boaty and nice and dry. These hand, these uh, wind deflectors here, actually on the on the bike there, seem to be doing a, a good job as well. It's one thing I noticed with a lot of bikes: you might have heated grips, but your hands, like you know, the, the your fingers, they tend to get blasted by the wind, and you get cold fingers. So hand guards here are, are always a good idea to deflect the wind from your from your your hands. So yeah. Indicators here on the button cluster, horn there, I'm not going to press it now because a few cars about, but hazards just below there and you've got all this function, uh, these function buttons here, curses if you like. Oh, so that's probably, probably um, I could probably make a whole video on that to be honest. And on the right hand side you've got cruise control, as long as that light's on on there, I think you have to be above 30 mile an hour in third gear, you can act activate the cruise control. Proper mile bunch of this, proper tourer. Cool. Sounds absolutely wonderful when you ring her on. Six speed gearbox, this is the the non-DCT, this one. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, you'll well you'll know um, you wouldn't know, but I'm I am a lover of the DCT gearbox that Honda the Honda make produce. It is a is a really nice silky smooth uh, gearbox. Uh, really nice. 20.4 litre fuel tank on here as well so uh, you'd have no worries about fuel uh, you don't want to keep having to pull over and refuel if you're on on tour be good for the pillion as well on the rear nice and comfortable it doesn't have heated seats I don't think on this um, not like the not like the gold wing there is a video on the channel actually of the gold wing I'll put a link up in the corner, up here, somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, stay stay with me and I'll pull over, just up the road. And I'll give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine. The dash here as well, we'll talk about the dash briefly. Um, it's it's actually touchscreen, so it's a, it's a TFT, but it's a touchscreen. I'm not going to mess with it now while I'm riding, but... You can connect actually your Apple CarPlay and your phone and also Android as well so you've got the option there of Android uh, which is very good uh, fairly fairly very I say fairly it's very customizable the display there so I'm not going to do it when I'm riding the bike but I've just been through that with the at the dealers and and you know you can change the display the way it looks it's very customizable we're in tour mode here at the moment uh, it's got five rider modes I think it's got a couple of customizable rider modes as well well I might be wrong actually five rider modes in total so uh, well speed camera there yeah so uh, very impressed very impressed so far. It's also got power sockets here as well. So your 12 volt power supply there. And also a USB socket this side as well. Need to go fairly careful here with the uh, the filtering actually. If I'm going to do any filtering. Because we have got the panniers on the bike as well. Hello sir. Little nod there from the biker. It's got like a LCD as well uh, display there with the mall, with the, with your speed as well and your and your gear indicator total miles as well. I think the bike's done 925 miles. So uh, hello, sir. And uh, yeah, I don't really know if, on the purpose of that really the LCD screen. However, you know because it's. it's you got your speed on the other one on the TFT above feet as in right f uh, foot position just put it into first there I'm on the balls of my feet 
and uh, what am I, five foot seven with around 30 inch inside leg. No issues there. Come on. <laughs> oh, I don't want to stop on the hill there. Uh, the weight of the bike, I can't notice any of that weight. I know I'm rolling at the moment, but when I'm when I was sort of stationary there, you can't really notice any of that weight. It's very low down, very low down weight there. No issues. We'll try the brake site once we get rolling in a minute as well. It's got the twin discs on the front and a single disc on the rear. I'm sure they'll perform. Nicely, they seem okay as of now. Though those heated grips are warming up lovely, they're only on level three. So uh yeah, I'm quite impressed with them. On other models they don't send a bit, tend to warm up uh, very well. Lots of police about today. <laughs> Let's take a right here. She handles lovely at low speed as well. No issues at all. Self-cancelling indicators. Um, you can see the heated grips on here. The settings that yeah, the oh, sorry, no, it's actually on setting four. So, uh, but yeah, they're lovely and toasty. Fuel gauge there, very clear. Temperature gauge. Like I say, you can change this to your to, to your your desire really. Um, what else can we talk about? Suspension actually. The suspension feels very very comfortable not too hard not too soft um, also we experienced uh, quite a few different roads today when we were out it is uh, the the shower separate function forks big piston so you've got adjustment adjustment there for your preload by the look of it with the dial type adjusters on the on the top of the fork so Basically, the separate function. You got one. One does rebound. One does compression. They kind of work against each other. And uh, take her up to 16. We'll try the try the brakes. We'll try the front brake first. Plenty of stop and power there. Oh, this has got the quick shifter as well. Oh, let's try the rear brake. Yeah, no issues. Try them both together. 60 mile an hour. Very good. Little bit of fork dive there. I weren't going too hard on the brakes. That's one thing that I didn't I haven't spoke about at the moment. This has got an optional extra quick shifter. This isn't the DCT gearbox, uh, and this has the the optional extra quick shifter. So this is the up and down shifter as well. And I haven't been I haven't tried that. Very nice that. Fourth, third, second, third. Fourth. Generally, the upshifter works better when the revs are up slightly higher. And uh, yeah, completely forgot that was on there. I've been, <laughs> been using the clutch in the uh, traditional way. <laughs> the screen is doing a perfect job of that keeping the wind off me as well. Ooh, steaming up a bit here. Uh, I say it is on its high highest setting. Alright, we'll pull in here, out of the way. I give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine. It's just here, indicator off. There we go. Neutral. First up to neutral, no issues. Second, down to neutral, perfect. Side stand. Sounds rather nice that, right, okay. Let's get the mitts off. I'm gonna give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine and run through the specs. Right, well here she is, the 2022 Honda NT 1100. And I think the NT is, stands for the new Touring, I believe. Uh, it's a six-speed manual, 
and it's got the wet multi-plate clutch and it's actually chain driven this one but you do have that uh, centre stand there as well comes as standard on the bike it's the parallel twin with the 270 degree, degree crank and the unicam supposedly an Africa twin uh, same as the Africa twin there and you can see the quick shifter as well here the optional extra quick shifter I think I'm not quite quite sure on the price of that as an extra but you're probably looking over 200 pounds I would say um, yeah anyway the bike would give you 75 kilowatt or 100 brake horsepower at 7500 rpm and 104 newton meters of torque at 6250 rpm the bike is electric start as well uh, which pretty much all bikes are nowadays uh, I think you're looking at around 130 mile an hour top speed of this lovely machine the frame is a semi double cradle steel with a bolt on aluminium subframe again it's the same as the Africa twin other than the subframe uh, the wheelbase is 1535 millimeters if you're interested in all these figures and the trail is 108 millimeters with a 26.5 degree caster angle uh, and 175 millimeter ground clearance. Seat height is 820 millimeters, uh, which is slightly lower than the Africa Twin actually. Uh, and there is a comfort seat available for this for this model, but I, I've got, I had no issues uh, with the comfort on the bike from what I've rode so far. Anyway, uh, the curb weight the weight of the bike is 238 kilograms for this model, and I think the DCT is 248 for that one fuel tank is a nice size uh, 20.4 litres given a consumption of 55 miles per gallon on average uh, according to the Honda website and a 400 kilometres or 250 mile range for the tank which is pretty good to be honest wheels 17 inch multi-spoke cast aluminium wheels there what tyres do we have looks like the Bridgestones uh, sorry Dunlop's on here yeah the Dunlop Sport Mac the bike has 310 millimeter floating discs, dual discs, with radial mounted four pot brake calipers on the front here, with the Nissan calipers there. The rear are so it's a single disc on the rear with a single pot caliper, uh, and it also has two channel ABS as well. Like I said before, front suspension is the Shura, uh, it's the 43 millimeter uh, separate function. Big piston upside down type forks with the dial style preload adjuster and with 150 millimeters of travel. So you've got a fair bit of travel there on the forks. Uh, pretty good there, you can't grumble. And the rear is a mono is a mono block aluminium swing and arm with pro link and a show, show a gas charge damper, which will be tucked away in there. Can't actually see that, but Oh, there you go. It's tucked away in there. It's got a also got a a preload adjuster there, a remote adjuster there, which is uh, very handy. Uh, and 150 millimeters travel again. The dash. I'm not going to run through all of the dash, but it's a 6.5 um, inch TFT, and it's the touch panel as well. Uh, the multi multi info display and secondary LCD display there as well. So yeah, I'm not going to run through all of this today, but I think you could basically talk about this all day, this one. There's lots of features on here. Yeah, lots of adjustment on there anyway. So yeah, we'll leave it on tour mode as well for now. Uh, it's got the, you can also connect your device through the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The bike has three, d three default rider modes. Uh, yeah, so it has got five. But it's got three presets, which are urban, rain, and tour, plus two customizable modes. Full LED lighting. Actually, we'll turn the light, turn the ignition on. Have a look at the lighting. Yeah, very nice. You can see the daytime running lights here as well. Under here. Very nice. That. We'll have a look at the rear. It's also got the indicators, it, uh, which are lit as well. And I think that's got a safety feature, so when you brake hard, if you brake hard, they'll flash as well. Yeah, looks nice. Very wide with the panniers. Very wide. Um, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, it's got um, 
the rear self cancel it's got the self cancelling indicators as well as I discussed earlier it's got the 12 volt socket and also the uh, USB socket there too uh, so you could actually plug your phone in there and charge your phone and connect your phone to the Apple uh, Play or, or Android Play so yeah anyway the new NT1100 comes standard with uh, colour mounted panniers and uh, we'll have a little look inside them in a minute uh, giving you 65 litres in total These, that's just for, the, just for the panniers I think one is slightly bigger than the other um, and obviously the top box as well we'll have a look inside one of these panniers so you lift that up pull that forward and then there you go oh, mind my camera there so yeah there's a fair bit of room in there I don't you, you might get a full 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 face helmet in there but could be a struggle we'll have a look in there in their top box as well same again there you go try to do it with one hand lots of room in there you'd certainly get a helmet in there possibly even two so yeah nice and secure like i say the top box doesn't actually come with the bike so that's uh, an additional extra but uh, it does come with a rear carrier uh, under there and also which i've spoke about already is the heated grips the uh, with five settings the center stand and five way adjustable screen wind deflectors uh usb socket basically everything to be honest probably you know without uh, the top box and the tank bags and that but it's very good according to the honda website this is this is 12,399 and it comes in three colors which is the pearl glare white the matte iridium gray metallic and uh, the graphite black uh, if you wanted the dc tier it's another thousand so uh i mean this has got the quick shifter and the blipper on it so yeah i mean you could go down that option because uh, it is another thousand pounds for the dct uh what else can i tell you uh, negatives well that is chain driven uh, however it does come with a center stand so adjustment of the uh, chain would be fairly easy there not it also doesn't have loads of power um, so uh, yeah I mean it is it, I mean it's more of a tour isn't it than a sports tour but very very nice and comfortable however so yeah I mean I, what I like as well is I like all of these I mean you've got the wind deflectors here loads of adjustment on the screen there as well you've got you know these plastic guards there as well deflectors loads of uh, luggage space there yes it's, it's it's a lot of bike for the money i would say personally yeah i'm I'm, uh, I'm liking it yeah very nice nice exhaust there as well um doesn't look too uh too uh, shabby for a euro five does it <laughs> yeah okay well there you have it the honda nt 1100 the non-dct so i think we should jump on and ride some more right let's try and turn around uh sounds really nice she sounds lovely let's see if we can turn around here no issues there just feathering the clutch a little bit there and okay here we go yeah she's quite happy plodding along i think you it's a proper mile muncher this machine good on fuel really nice that's actual pleasure to ride pleasure to ride well yeah if you haven't subscribed if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed consider subscribing plenty more bike content coming and uh reviews ride outs so yeah it'd be nice to have you along actually we'll take a no we'll, we'll carry on along this road here see what she's like it's quite a bumpy section of road through here so not having any problems on the NT1100 I say I'm yet to ride the Africa twin so hopefully manage to get on one of those at some point slow down a tad that blipper's so 
silky smooth as well on the nationals one door open a bit 60 mile an hour there so we're now in top gear six gear and the revs are sitting at 3000 rpm no vibes no vibes there uh, yeah I mean we're in tour mode as well I'm not going to stop playing around with the modes but I'm quite happy with how she performs in tour mode at the moment nice visible fuel gauge there and temperature gauge rev counter you got the time oh bit of mud in the road here <laughs> try and keep the bike clean yeah, it'd be nice to, ride, nice to ride the DCT model. Nice and smooth. You sit back, wind her open and uh, away you go. That'd be nice. I say, that has got the quick shifter, so if you didn't want to use the clutch, you can just knock it down the gearbox. Clutchless. Not getting any wind at all. She handles absolutely gorgeous. Comfort, like I say, I'm still not having any issues there. It's got a very comfortable seat on here. Yeah, I could probably ride this all day, this. Plenty of pick up there as well. So we're in fifth gear. Oh, rein it in. <laughs> Yeah, very impressed Honda. You'd have no issues either about charging your devices. So you've got two so two power sockets there, you're kind of spoiled there. Uh, although it is a Taurus, so you'd expect that. Yeah, I think this display here looks a bit complicated. I'll try the horn now, actually. Nothing about, nothing behind. Standard, really, as far as horns go. <laughs> Not going to win any awards for the horn, but there you go. A lovely pickup there. A lovely pickup. But those heated grips as well. I've turned the bike back on, and they haven't re they haven't turned off. So you're not got to go into the menu to turn them back on. They they, they remember what you want. You know what where it was before. So uh, top marks for that because it is annoying when you. You set the bike up and, uh, yeah, little bit of glare on that, on that screen there, little bit of glare on there, it actually looks like it's got a screen protector on there as well, um, not going to be pulling that off, maybe a manufacturer's one from when the bike was new, it looks, yeah, but, can't really get a full, uh, make a full comment on that at the moment. Yeah, lovely at this low speed as well. So I'm sitting here 25 mile an hour in a, in a nice place, you know. It's got the power, it's got the power there, not got loads of power, but it's got enough power there to, uh, to keep, keep a smile on your face. And like I say, these modes are very tailorable as well, so you could go in and tailor those to your uh, requirements. The throttle, oh, no snatchiness there. Um, it's quite happy plodding along. Well, yeah, let me know. Could you see yourself out on one, test riding one? I'm interested to know. Or do you own one? Have you purchased one? I say it's a fair old uh, amount of bike for the money as well, and you do get all of those. Well, they're, they're not optional extras, but they generally are in you know one other a lot of other machines. So, yeah, very impressed with that. I say often I get a lot of comments. I try and answer as many as I can, but I do get a lot of comments regarding oh you know the bike it's not shaft driven and 
I mean, the thing is with, shaft, with a shaft drive bike as well, as you do, you will lose a bit of that performance uh, to the back wheel straight away by by going shaft driven. And uh, yeah, chain drive. Tra chain drive is uh, this. I mean, this is fine. You have got the centre stand, so you can adjust the chain. You can lube, clean and lube the chain. We'll get past this van in a minute, and uh, on the nationals, we'll wander on a bit more. Lovely village here. Lovely village. L lovely day as well today, so perfect day today to be coming out on the machine. And uh, yes, no issues there with the pickup. Nothing at all. Actually, sounds really nice as well when you ring the power on. <laughs> No issues. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me today. Really do appreciate you joining me today on this uh, ride out review. So it's my first impressions review. I've only literally ju just jumped on the bike, so... Well, yeah. Thanks for joining me, and I hopefully I'll see you on the next video. So take care. See you soon.